What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are out here in the Hammerdown Motorsports shop over here on the lift area bay one. We've got our 1995 Ram project. We've got the big 37 inch tires. We have the five inch lift on this truck. And I'll give you guys a quick glimpse of what we got going on over here on the front bumper. We do have the mock-up kind of going on over here. I did use the U-Paul Raptor liner on the bumper. And as you guys can see, this stuff works so amazing. It is super easy to use. It goes on really, really well. You have no striping, no uneven surfaces or anything like that. This stuff is absolute magic. So this is our fourth gen Ram bumper. We have the conversion plates over here. I do have our winch down in here. I have the custom plate that I modified. And then we do have a bull bar here as well with some HID KC lights, which we're gonna have all go together with this entire bumper assembly. It's a lot of stuff to make fit into one place, but I think it's gonna look absolutely amazing when it's all done. And just on a little side note, we got our little mini bike project going on over here. I've got my 212 Predator conversion going on. There's gonna be a little bit of modification to make this all work in this old school mini bike. I did take out the old Briggs and Stratton, which is pretty tired, but we're gonna get this one running, get it all fitted up and everything like that. And it's gonna be an awesome little ride. So now for what you guys came here for, behind me we have our 2019 Ram Laramie Sport. And this truck is completely stock, and it's it's got pretty good power for what it is. I mean, honestly, you step on this truck, it gets up and goes. That Hemi engine just comes to life, and it's actually a very nice truck to drive. But you can always use a little bit more. So our good friends over at JMS Chip hooked us up with their Pedal Max system for the 2019 Ram, and we're gonna unleash some of that power that's already there. It's just the computer is kind of limiting us from having. So now with the JMS chip module, you hook it directly into your throttle pedal and it's completely plug and play. There's no tuning required and you have a little control knob where you can control the sensitivity of the throttle. So when you hit that pedal, you get 100% right away. So now before we install our JMS Pedal Max, let's take this truck out, give it a little bit of a baseline on what it does when it's stock. So a nice leisurely cruise in the Ram. We're just under 16 miles per gallon. We're cruising at about 40, 43 miles per hour. Let's put it right to the floor. And there we go. But as you guys saw, there was definitely a pretty big delay from the time I put the pedal to the floor and when we actually got the RPM that we desired. So now let's see what we can do from a stop. All right, here we go. Get to a dead stop and right to the floor. And don't get me wrong, it does accelerate fairly well, but we had no wheel spin whatsoever. It kind of delayed it in the very beginning. You kind of had that little bit of hesitation when you put it right to the floor before it actually started engaging. And hopefully the pedal max is gonna improve our performance on that one. All right, so we've crossed the 5,000 mile mark with the Ram. No real issues whatsoever other than the crack in the windshield and a few rock chips and things like I've spoke about on other videos. But I mean, that's all stuff that's just kind of my experience. That's not really anything, a, a problem with the Ram truck itself. That's just something that I encountered. So I shared that with you guys. So other than that, I mean, we've never had any engine lights. We've never had any kind of electronic issues whatsoever. The infotainment system's been working great and all that kind of good stuff. So really no complaints after 5,000 miles. And as you guys can see, it is a balmy 86 degrees out here in Pennsylvania. So getting out of the dash of this truck and getting this Pedal Max installed is something I'm gonna have to do rather quickly before I start melting in the heat. And I know all you guys out in Texas and the hotter states in the US are gonna be laughing at me, 86 degrees, that's probably a fall day for you guys, but out here it's pretty humid, and yeah, it gets a little bit sticky. All right, for the 2019 Ram, our part number is a PX192-0DCX4. 
And what you get in the box, you get your instructions right here. And we get our harness, which is gonna go in line with what's already existing with the factory wiring. Pull this out, we already have the module attached. And then we have our control knob, so we can control how much sensitivity we wanna have with our throttle. This does come disconnected, but it does have a nice little connector here, which you're gonna route through whichever which way you wanna route this. If you wanna have this in any specific place under the dash or wherever you choose to mount it, you can route this through and then connect it to your wiring later on. And they also provide some zip ties so you can get all your wiring up out of the way. And over here we do have our limiting plug which limits the system to 60%. Just so if you do have a new driver in the vehicle or somebody that you do not want to have that kind of throttle response right away, you can definitely just install that and not have to worry about them spinning out or anything like that. And over here we have this weather pack connector and this bundle of wire. This is an optional thing. If you want to hook this to your 12 volt power source, it will light up the LED that's on the top of the module. This is basically just used for diagnostics. It's not necessary. So we're going to remove that at this time. All right, now that we got everything unpacked, it's time to install our pedal max and see what the difference is. All right, so under our dash, we have our throttle pedal. And right up here is where our electrical connection is. What you're going to want to do is pull on this square piece like that. That's going to unlock it. And then your connection is removed. And now, as you can see, the brown connector is the one from our pedal max, and I've installed the factory one to the other end of the harness. Now we are all wired up. Now we just got to take our module, mount this up out of the way, and then we can connect the control knob. All right, everybody, our install is complete. I mounted the knob for the controller right here. Since there's an existing screw right here, I just removed this. Then I clearanced a little bit off the side of the control knob itself and I was able to put the screw over top of it. And on the other side, I actually wrapped a zip tie through the hole, went around the back, and then it pulled it nice and flush. This thing's nice and solid, not going anywhere. And you can adjust your throttle control pretty easily just from the driver's position. And as far as the module goes, there's actually an existing tab. I just put a zip tie through that, and that kept the module nice and out of the way, as you can see and then tied up all the wiring and we're pretty much good to go. Well, there it is everybody. You saw how easy it was to install the Pedal Max controller. Now let's see how much horsepower that actually unleashed from our 2019 Ram. All right, so we have our Pedal Max at 50%, roughly 50%. We're at a dead stop, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely a little bit more of a kick in the pants than before. <laughs> Man, oh, I gotta slow down. These, wow, yeah, these pedal maxes, they, if I can explain it in any way, it's just, it's like a kick in the pants, is basically what it is. It's like you step on it and all of a sudden, boom, there you go. You got your throttle right now. And that is exactly what everybody wants. I mean, you paid for this engine. You want to have that horsepower right now and be able to control how much you get at any given time, not have the computer decide that for you. This is definitely something that you need. So if you crank it up to 100, let's see what happens. All right, let's find us a nice safe place to stop. Okay, let's crank this thing up to 100%. <laughs> it's always immediate. You definitely, oh man. You definitely feel that throttle just kick in immediately. <laughs> oh man. This thing is too much fun, honestly. I can't wait till we have more mods on this truck and actually allow it to breathe a little bit because I think this is gonna add to it a whole lot more. <laughs> I, basically, I give it like maybe 20% throttle and it's as if I'm giving it half throttle before. Like it, it's just like instantly wanting to go and it's exactly what I want this truck to do. All right, so we are at a stop. I'm gonna give you guys a view of the gauges. This is with the pedal max at 100% and let's put it right to the floor. And as you guys can see from our comparison before, we definitely had a fairly large delay from our original factory drive-by wire system. And the Pedal Max has definitely turned up the fun. Too much fun. 
So the JMS Pedal Max for the 2019 Ram, definitely an awesome product. I'm super happy that I have this in the truck now. I'm able to dial up my throttle whenever I want to. If a Coyote Ford pulls up beside me, I'm cranking that thing to 100, and then we're gonna give him a run for his money. The Pedal Max actually opens the throttle body an extra seven degrees. So you're gonna get that little bit of extra air. More air means more power, so it's definitely something that you're gonna want. And just to go cruising around with your truck, if you want that extra little bit of power when you land on the throttle, this is definitely gonna get you there right away. You're not gonna have that delay from that drive-by wire, which is pretty annoying, and it almost seems like everything is delayed, and that's something that I've always never liked about drive-by wire systems, and this corrects that 100%. I'm very, very happy with this product. So if you guys want one of these for your truck, definitely check out JMS Chip. I will have a link for their website in the description. And I also just got confirmation we have another mod coming for the 2019 Ram. This is one I think you guys have been waiting for. I've been working on this one for a little while, and it's on its way. It should be here Monday. I'm very excited to install it, and it's going to be absolutely amazing transforming this truck into what I want it to be. So I'm going to share that with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that episode. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.